Hello everyone and welcome back to the 12 Myths About Photography series. In case you have missed out the previous episodes, go and check them out on my channel and hit that subscribe button to be notified in advance when the next episode comes out. Well, there we come to myth number five, one of my favorites. And you'll see why not everything you hear about photographers is true. Shall we begin? Let's go. So, what is myth number five about? Becoming a photographer is quick and easy. Well, it's not. Well, the picture you see on the right is a favorite of mine, a colleague, a pho another photographer created it to describe what is the problem with clients. So you see the top picture is what the clients usually want. They want a beautiful thing. And the bottom one is what they have actually budgeted. So basically people want great images for nothing, but becoming a photographer is quite a long, long, long journey. I mean, it doesn't happen overnight. And as I keep repeating, it's not the gear that takes the images. What matters is the person behind the lens, because without you seeing the picture, there will be no picture at all. So basically, what I would like to show you is that becoming a photographer is actually a long, long process. For me, it took years. I mean, okay, I'm self-taught, so maybe for me it took a bit longer than it should take, should you take some formal training in photography, but still, you cannot wake up one morning and say, well, I'll be going and taking amazing masterpieces and I'll be going and winning each and every prestigious contest on earth. Well, it doesn't happen. So you probably remember this image from the first video I showed to you describing who I am. So this one is one of the first images I took. I didn't know what I was doing. I'm not going to repeat the story over again, but still. Point is that this image is a crappy one. I mean, really, really crappy one. It's not a good one. It's not a good one. Technically, it has composition problems. Um, it was shot in JPEG, which means it couldn't be edited out the way it should be. So basically, it sucks. So from this image, I took a really long, long path. I mean, it took me years to find out what is the best type of composition. How do you manage your shots? How to know your gear? How to behave on location? These are all things that you know with practice. Practice does make it, make it perfect in some cases. So for example, from this to this, it was around seven years. No, wait, six years. So basically this picture is taken with totally different gear at a different time of the day. Um, I was behaving differently. I knew the place, knew what I was doing. It was actually in a torrential rain, by the way. So from this one, from the one I showed you in the previous slide to this one, it is um, six years of difference. And believe me, that counts. So if you want to become a photographer, it doesn't mean that you will be a photographer the moment you buy your camera. It wouldn't happen even when you have taken a few hundred pictures. It happens with taking thousands of pictures. I actually think that the first one, no, the first 10,000 pictures you take are usually crappy. Trust me, they are. By the way, cameras tend to start counting from 1 to 9,999. So before you have counted this once or twice, you're nothing. I mean, you don't know what you're doing. If you have great shots, they are taken by chance, trust me. And they are more the exception rather than the rule. So basically it takes years. It is a slow and sometimes painful process because as any person, photographers are quite self-centered and they think they're amazing. Well, they're not usually. So um, being a photographer is not something that happens overnight. So you, you need to work for it. You need to want it and you need to fight to be good. 
it's not a one-sided process. It's about development and growth. Having said all that, I want to wish you once again good luck and stay focused. Go check the other videos from the series, all other videos connected to my Culture Crossroads project. I'm sure you'll have something interesting for yourself. Thank you for watching and seeing you next week.